What's up YouTube, it's Mr. Ferguson here once again. Hope you guys are having a fantastic Friday. Thank you so much for joining me for yet another video here in my lawn. We did a mow on the last video I believe you guys saw here in my lawn. We did a mow, we cut off like three inches in some areas, it was so thick but uh, it's looking great out here. So thank you for tuning in. Thank you for checking out the video. I enjoy walking through the lawn a little bit. You can see where I was standing on my first attempt to record this video. But thank you guys for tuning in. Today we're gonna talk about a topic many new people may not be aware of. Maybe uh, you've had this question on your mind and that is, what the heck are all those brown splotches in my lawn? Has anybody out there ever thought that or questioned that? If so, we're gonna answer that for you today. We're gonna talk about warm season coming into our cool season lawn. Now is a critical time and when this is happening to be able to take action and do something if you choose to do that. So I've got three things for handling warm season grasses in your cool season lawn. So without further ado, let's get into the first one. So the first method that we're gonna talk about is we'll talk about the Roundup method. The Roundup method is using this herbicide to completely eradicate the Bermuda from your cool season lawn. Now clearly when we're talking about using Roundup, we're killing everything. It's like a, a brush killer. It's like, it's a weed and a grass killer, right? So this strip right here that I'm standing by, that's why I'm filming right here. I had Bermuda creeping up all over right here in this strip many years ago when I first got into lawn care. And I'm like, okay, how do I get rid of this? This is gonna become a problem. Bermuda spreads, it's self-repairing. So what am I gonna do here? So I went to the internet, I looked up Pete, and Pete, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, is the one that gave this advice. It did not come from me. I like to give credit to people that educate me. So with this strip right here, having all this Bermuda, Pete said, here's, here's what you do, number one. You scalp it down. I got my mower out. I lowered it to about one inch, if not even a little bit lower. I mean, it was super low. And I mowed this thing in the summertime because when do we want to replant fescue? We want to do that in the fall. So right around July, uh, end of July, August, I scalped all of this down, probably closer to August towards when the heat, the heat's already stressing the grass. I already had this Bermuda. It's thriving. It loves the heat, right? It's, it's, it's brown. It would be brown now, meaning you would see brown in here if there was any Bermuda. There's no Bermuda here, but we scalped it down all the way to the turf. We're super low, which is going to hurt the fescue. It's, you're going to make the fescue suffer because it's been infiltrated by a warm season grass. So we scalped it down. The second part, I took my backpack sprayer, I got some Roundup and we applied Roundup to the strip heavily uh, to kill all the Bermuda the best I could. That we let that happen, soak in, kill the Bermuda. Several weeks later, we came back. I did an aeration of my entire lawn. I didn't have Bermuda in some areas, but I did scalp down some areas that I was gonna reseed. But this area, we aerated this up and down. We planted our seed. We did peat moss on top. It's grown in. I have not had a Bermuda problem since then. That method absolutely worked in this strip that you're seeing right here. I have no signs. It is cool right now. As you can see on the other side of the property line here, the warm season grass currently is brown. That's what my neighbors have in their lawn. You don't see any brown in this strip because we eradicated it. We planted thick and we, we basically, we killed it and choked it out. So you can section off areas in your lawn that has Bermuda, section it off, scalp it low, use some Roundup heavily, maybe once, maybe twice. You'll watch the green die in the Bermuda and crisp up. Then if, if you aerate, you can aerate when you're planting in the fall, reseed super thick in that area. It worked on the strip in my old lawn. So that is number one, the Roundup method. So number two, we want to talk about the post-emergence herbicide method. And uh, specifically, we're talking about Fusil A2, a product that we can spray, also Ornamic 170. They both have the same active ingredient. This section that you're looking at here is uh, the front right section of my home, which I've had the most problems with Bermuda and with weeds. I don't know why this is the area, but this is the area. This bank right here is where we have tested Fusil A2, we sprayed Ornamic 170, and right now, looking at this lawn right now in person, I see nothing that shows Bermuda, active Bermuda in this lawn. If it's there, it's lying dormant underneath the fescue or something because 
I don't see any patches at all of warm season grass in this fescue. However, this is another method that you can use over a course of many months or years to effectively remove warm season grasses from your cool season lawn. Again, when we're talking about a cool season lawn, perennial ryegrass, Kentucky bluegrass, tall fescue, these are the type of grass types we're talking about. And if you're in the transition zone, this problem is more common than people know. If you're looking out in your lawn, seeing these brown patches, you, you need to take action or you should take action. And using some of these products is the second way that you can go. Maybe you do not want to section off. Maybe you have a lot of Bermuda in your lawn that you're like, Mr. Ferguson, number one ain't gonna work for me. I've got so much Bermuda. I can see my, my cool season fescue color and I see this lighter color and I've looked at it, I've identified it, it's Bermuda. It is all over. It's infiltrated my entire lawn. What do I do? Well, you could smoke off the entire lawn and do number one method that way, but you're like, man, that's a lot of work. This grass has been established. What's number two? Using these products like Fusil A2 or Namic 170 is another way to go. It is very powerful uh, product. Uh, we've tested it here to, to the success and failures. The last time we did it right here where the camera is setting, I actually applied it and I did it a little heavy. Um, I tried to spot spray it and I did it with the rates that were on the label, but spot spraying it instead of just spraying it once I, in some areas, I sprayed it twice doing that, applying that much product, it will, the way the product works is it basically stunts the growth of your fescue. It's not supposed to kill your cool season grass. It's only supposed to target the Bermuda. However, the, the cool season grass will be affected. It will stunt the growth. The areas you do not spray this, you'll see continued growth. You got to continue to mow it. But in these areas, it will stunt the growth to where you don't even have to mow for a week or two. It basically makes your fescue sick. Then it should come back to life, pop back, the Bermuda hurt, and it's that's basically like a round one treatment. Almost, in my mind, like going to get radiation for cancer. It is not a one-time fix. You've got to continuously, in the early spring, in the late fall, when, when Bermuda is beginning to come active, that's when you want to make these applications. When fall time, when Bermuda is still active but starting to fall off, that's when you want to make this application back and forth for a couple years to truly eradicate it from your lawn. What I have learned on this method is that I'm no longer gonna spot spray or Namek 170 or Fusil A2 when I see Bermuda popping up. What I'm gonna do is blanket spray maybe my entire front lawn where I see it in this section right here. I'm just gonna blanket spray the entire front lawn for a couple reasons. Number one, I don't wanna to have to reseed like I did last time for spraying too heavily. Uh, number two, Ornamic 170 and the Fusilate Active Ingredient product uh, not only handles Bermuda, it will also handle crabgrass, it'll handle foxtail, it'll handle um, uh, goose grass, it'll handle quack grass. So look on domyown.com, scroll down. I love their method of sharing products. You can see all the target weeds there. You can also click to the right, a PDF there, where you can see everything uh, that the label list that it affects. So step number two, using a selective herbicide to selectively pull out and kill the warm season grass but not totally take out or kill your cool season grass that's step number two finally thank you for sticking to the the last part of the channel but step number three step number three is you can choose to do nothing <laughs> it's your lawn you can do whatever you want um, I would not recommend step number three of doing nothing um, it is important to understand your enemy um, being a Christian guy uh, living a Christian life it's important to understand what my enemy's trying to get me to do in my spiritual life the same is true for a cool season home lawn owner understanding Bermuda grass I need to know even though I don't have Bermuda in my lawn I need to understand how Bermuda operates so that I can combat it because I don't want to have it in my lawn right I don't want to have sin in my life I don't want to have Bermuda in my lawn so I understand when I go to the golf course I love playing on the Bermuda fairways down the road at my golf course and I can see as we've shared many times Bermuda is a self-repairing grass it is super convenient to have as a residential home lawn um, when the kids are playing when you scuff things up when you scalp it a little low 
you're good. It's fine. It doesn't hurt Bermuda. It's super tough. It is a dominant grass type that will repair itself. It'll green back up. It fixes holes in the lawn. It fixes the divots in the golf course. That's why golf course uses it. But I need to be aware of it. We can see it more in June, July, August here in North Carolina. We can see those different color greens. Like what is this stringy stuff? And then you pull up a whole strand. There's Bermuda. It's time to start getting active. But you don't have to. As long as you're comfortable in your lawn of seeing the different color grasses and you're like hey it is what it is I'm not worried about it that's your choice however it's still smart to be educated on it so later on if all of a sudden your fescue is being choked out um, and, and all of a sudden you're like okay I've got Bermuda now I need to work worry about it what do I need to do well the problem's gotten bigger but it doesn't mean that you can't do anything but also keep in mind like we were standing over by my property line of my neighbors over here when it gets cold outside you're it's likely you may have these spots of of brown patches or brown sections in your lawn. I see them all the time going to work and coming home from our church. I see it all the time. It's hideous looking. It's, uh, it would drive me insane, but you'll have to deal with looking at that. And it's a process as we talked about on step two with the herbicide process, there's no quick and easy fix. So you don't have to do anything, but be prepared to have different color, um, different colors in your lawn, different sections. Also be prepared to have the brown when your fescue and your cold season, a cool season lawn is green and thriving. You may have some browning in the middle of it that won't be so appealing to maybe yourself, your wife, your family, or your neighbors. So three things to consider and how we can remove warm season grass from our cool season lawn. I hope this has been helpful, educational. I hope you guys enjoy moving the cameras around, giving you some different angles. The lawn is looking great here. Um, so far, no signs of cool season. I'm dealing with cold season grassy weeds like Poa Triv. And so I've got some decisions to make uh, as far as do I need to kill off sections of my lawn to not have Poa Triv pop up next year. So that's something I'll have to research and think about myself. But I hope this has helped you in your lawn and what you're doing. Uh, let me know your comments below. Check out domyown.com. Even though I'm an affiliate with them, I also want to mention when I did, um, when I was talking with my dad about Ornamic 170, there is a wide range of prices for Ornamic 170. Even though I'm affiliate with domyown.com and I would love for you to use our links, support the channel, um, buy the cheapest product for you. I saw prices from $30 to do my own was up at like 56. So make sure you do your research there as well. Uh, I'm here to help you. I'm not here to try to scam you or make a buck off of you. So I hope that makes sense. But God bless you guys. I hope you have a fantastic Friday. Look forward to seeing you on Monday, hopefully with another lawn care video. Take care. Watch out for that Bermuda.